So we have these different transaction types here, and we, we just go by status. And this is kind of a cue to let you know how many are in each bucket. Um, you can drill down here if there's anything in here. Um, so this, this is kind of like a work cue for somebody to see, okay, I have all these drafts. What do I do with them? Uh, pending approval is next. Approved means that it's open and fulfilled means completed. Once it's fulfilled and then invoiced, it falls off the dashboard. That's why we don't see invoices on here. So I'll show you kind of a basic order flow here. This, this is, this is pr pretty much the same in, in virtually every ERP system. So you have sales orders here. They start as drafts. They get converted to sale, uh, sales orders can get converted to purchase orders. We have a purchase order here where this will create a purchase, uh, purchase order for each vendor listed on the sales order. Uh, there is a default vendor for each item, but it allows you to choose a vendor on the sales order as well if you have multiple vendors that source the same product. Uh, you can generate work orders from sales orders. Those are like manufacturing orders, or they could be service orders uh, if you're, if you're uh, you know, dispatching people into the field. A work order is typically the time and material and the, and the instructions to make said product or service. And then after the product is, is made uh, or the service is fulfilled, you would convert this sales order to an invoice. If you have to physically ship product, you'll, you'll hit create shipment here. And, and, and uh, that's, that's kind of like your interim step that uh, we use to integrate with ShipStation. Here's an example of something. This is by date and by warehouse. So you have an item here and you have the action quantity. The action quantity is how many you need to order by this date to meet your demand. And the demand can come up, can come from your sales history, like invoices. Um, it could be some calculation of that, like the last four months worth of sales, uh, you know, average month of sales. You could look at if it's more of a seasonal uh, item, you could look at the same time last year and how, uh, the same month last year. So we can create different calculations that, that you might use uh, based on how you track uh, sell-through. So we have a sales order in here, and I'll just come through these items here. So we have products, you have the quantity, line number, yay. Um, you have a price cost, drawing number, some other fields that are specific to this particular environment. And what happens here is as you make shipments, which you can combine uh, multiple sales orders onto a shipment, uh, we write the quantities of each of those items on the sales order back to the sales order so that we can see how many are remaining to be shipped. So you see this particular shipment here, it has a sales order listed and it has a product listed because it allows me to uh, combine multiple sales orders onto one shipment.